Hey guys, what's going on? How are you all doing? This is James here. Hope you're all having a great day. Now, I wanted to quickly mention that I have noticed that we've just reached 2,000 subscribers. That is absolutely mental, and I'm going to be going into that at the end of this video. And I'm also going to be doing a giveaway celebrating that very soon, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, on with this video. This video is a rice gum thumbnail template that I've just made. It's fresh out of Photoshop. You do need Photoshop to do this, to edit it and to use it for yourself. But if you've got that, then go ahead into the description and grab the download. It's completely free to use. And because it's free to use, I do ask that you support this video. If this was what you're looking for, please give it a like. If you are new and like this kind of content, then make sure you subscribe and comment feedback, negative or positive. Either way, it's very helpful for me to know what you guys are looking for and to grow. Anyway, on with this video. This thumbnail template gives you the access to change the text and I show you how to do everything. In just a moment, I actually go into a tutorial, a very simple, easy to follow and quick tutorial on how to use the thumbnail template pack. Everything's in there. There's emojis, the style that he uses, with the little white outlines, because Ricegum likes to cover his videos in emojis and he uses them quite cool, quite um, interestingly. So they're all in there. You can change the background, you can change the color fade, you can change everything. So I'll go ahead and teach you how to do that. I'm not Ricegum's designer. That's probably quite clear, but if you didn't realize, I wanted to make that clear. Uh, his designer is obviously a very talented guy, so I'm gonna give him a shout out. Uh, on Twitter, it's twitter.com forward slash scvph. So if you want to check him out, uh, there might be some good content on there. Anyway, on with this video, I would like to share with you guys how to change this, how to use this, and how to um, like edit everything yourself. So let's get on to that now. Okay, so once you've gone into the description and you've grabbed the link, you're going to come over to here. You can download it straight or you can come click on it and then go to the top right corner and press download. Because I'm signed in as a creator, I'm not 100% sure if this is exactly the same for you guys. Um, but it should be quite easy for you to find the download. There shouldn't be any adverts, so I don't think you'd be able to get the wrong download. Um, so you should be absolutely fine there. And then you're going to want to go and open it up into Photoshop. Once you're in Photoshop, I recommend the first thing that you do is just play around with all the layers, get used to them, um, explore it. If you go wrong with anything, it's not the end of the world. You can always um, just undo it. You can go back to the original source file and literally just start again. So don't be afraid to explore. I've marked the things in green are the things that you're going to want to get into and play around with and edit. The rest of it you can pretty much ignore. The stuff in orange you might want to have a look at. But the green things are pretty much the highlights. Uh, the other stuff are just little things like you see there how the light comes on and off and just looks a bit more passionate. So you can pretty much ignore that. But the first thing is the text. That's probably what most people are interested in. So to edit the text, you're going to want to go ahead and open it up. Now these little eyeballs mean that they're showing themselves. So if I were to click on the eyeball, you saw something just went. So it's a good way of seeing what you're going to be playing with. So we're going to change this your text into something. So I'm going to go ahead, click on this layer, go over to the left, click on the text tool, and then literally just press on top. Make sure you're on one of the letters and click on top. Control A then selects all the writing and then I can type whatever it is that I want. So I'm just going to type James. Press the mouse to get out of this and then I'm going to go to the next one. So just underneath, I can make sure that it's the right bit by clicking on it, um, by clicking on the eyeball. So I'm going to go over to the text tool and not click where it says James in case it tries to interfere with that, but go to the left and click on the Y. Control A again to select everything and type James again. And you can see that they sort of meet and connect. Now, once they've connected, you, do, you won't have to like drag one around and then... Um, uh, sort of sync the other one up underneath with it. You can just click on the two that you want, press Control T, and then drag it however you want. Now you might see that there's a slight arch, a slight arc going on, giving it a bit of an angle. Rice Gum does this in some of his thumbnails. They're very extreme at weird angles, and some they're pretty much straight. But how you do that is if you use the text tool, type something out. So I'm just going to type frog with two G's for some reason. Um, Highlight everything, which is Control A again, 
and don't be alarmed by the green that's just um, the sort of blue selection going over the background changing the colors you want to click this thing up here top middle of the screen it's got the little um, create warp text icon and then choose what you want so the arc is the most commonly used one and you can then choose how extreme you want it to be and it just rotates stuff so that's pretty simple you then hit OK and you've got your text uh, we're gonna go ahead and delete that layer because you don't need it but that there is how you change the text gonna go ahead and close that uh, there's then the frames and the background stuff so the background picture that I've used is this it's literally just some icebergs and a polar bear I went ahead and deleted the polar bear and just used this background now I can't vouch and say that this is copyright free the chances are that it's not it doesn't matter in a YouTube thumbnail um, and especially when it's been completely edited it couldn't even be picked up as like the original image couldn't find this and copyright it at all not that there's copyright problems in thumbnails but as soon as it goes onto a website or is used somewhere else I can't vouch for your safety so I would recommend using a different image uh, maybe your own or a copyright free one just be doubly careful uh, I'm not recommending you go ahead and use this one so if you want to use your own you want to go ahead and delete the picture of the polar bear like that and then drag it into the exact same layer that that one was on if you put it in a slightly different place it might go um it might just look wrong the color might not be quite right because this layer above this color fade that is actually clipped to that layer so you want to make sure it's in the right place for that to go back uh, you then have the frame and the little shadow that goes underneath the frame you can change all that you can take all these layers apart do whatever you want with it um and turn it into your own thing or just use it as it is it really doesn't matter uh, you then have the color changer that's going to be quite important for a lot of people so you want to click on the little ball here there's a little circle half of its black half is white double click on that and then you can pull the saturation up just to make it really extreme or pull it down and bit by bit it'll go more and more black and white like that the lightness obviously is extremely bright or completely black in all honesty I would leave those the same and just drag the hue around so you can get some really cool colors oh, that's quite nice it's like a little bit of a watermelony look um, so you can move that around do whatever you want with that you can press colorize if you want to lock it all to one solid color if you just want it to be all red but it's always nice to have that little bit of a fade it just makes it sort of pops out to the eye a little bit more so there's that I'm gonna go ahead and hide that now using the eyeball just to go put it back to how it was I've now made these emojis so there's all these by the way this little thing at the top I can't remember if I mentioned it but it's the top layer and you can just get rid of it it's not a problem um, so I've made all these emojis for you with the white outlines if you want to go ahead and take some of those they're all on separate layers so you can play about with them because I know rice uses a lot of emojis and with these fire emojis I broke it down into stages so there's the flame outline the color thing there's each one in different pieces and you can see that sort of the backdrop that's the kind of thing he does he does put a lot of effort into it now the recording you saw at the start of this it took me about an hour to make this if you are making this for yourself and do want to have a really nice outcome that doesn't just look like a generic rice gum uh, thumbnail template then I do recommend spending a bit of time playing about with it getting it absolutely perfect for you uh, obviously you can do what you want with it you can literally just smack your own text on it and be done with it that's not a problem but I do recommend spending a bit of time if you do want that really nice looking thumbnail anyway like I said thank you all so much for 2000 subscribers that means so much to me I'll be doing a giveaway soon give me ideas in the comments for what giveaway you'd like to see I'm thinking maybe a graphics giveaway so I'll pick some winners and do a revamp uh, overlay thumbnails whatever you want logos banners and just pick some people and do that but there's definitely going to be a giveaway coming up soon if this video helped you I'd really appreciate a like a subscribe comment if I maybe missed something um, or you have any questions I or other people will be able to help you out regardless I really hope this video helped you I hope you have a great day and I hope to see you in the next video guys take it easy I'm out peace
die. 